in the beginning, I was really trying to, I guess, almost strangely hide my Asian-ness. But the more I sort of own that part of my heritage, people actually were drawn to that. My name is Mayumi Yoshida, and oh, I almost said five foot two because I slate all the time oh. like this. <laughs> My name is Mayumi Yoshida, and I'm a Japanese actor, writer, and director based in Vancouver, and I've called this place home for the last 10 years. My desire to want to work in North America was always there, but it's always scary to jump into that. So my dad, when he randomly was on a business trip to Vancouver, he picked up this brochure of this film school, and that kind of was like, ding! I'm a city girl, so there's that Vancouver city, but then right next to it, you see the mountains and the oceans right there. And that combination really made sense to me. I was part of a project called First Photo Here by National Film Board. And it's a project that collects photos and stories of people who came here to Canada. So it's a photo of me holding mac and cheese with ketchup on it. I was really excited. I'm holding it with much enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> and later I realized that mac and cheese is American. And then <laughs> so then my Canadian friends were all like, well, you have to have poutine. Oh, normal gravy. So they took me to Fritz. Crumble bacon. It was an experience. <laughs> Whenever my family and my friends are visiting from Japan, I love taking them around. I take them to English Bay and Kits. You get there and it's the beach, the ocean, and that's Vancouver. A lot of people in my school or other places would tell me, uh, have you had Japa Dog? You're Japanese, you must have had Japa Dog. And I'm like, what is Japa Dog? I have no idea what Japa Dog is. Hello, and then I would see them on the street and like, oh. <laughs> From when I started acting to now, which is 10 years, I've seen a shift in the roles that people like me can audition for. And I see the representation shift in lead characters and the stories that we tell. And it's strangely enough, as I saw the entertainment industry change, the Vancouver scene kind of shifted too in like the food scene as well. The first time I went to Maruriru Cafe, I found the katsudon and I was like, oh my God. What I see in my stories is the more specific you are with the characters and the culture, the more it actually is universal to a lot of people who are watching and that I think almost translates to food as well. The more authentic it is, the more people are like, they're drawn to it because it's more unique. When we do shows, there's land acknowledgements and we don't do that in Japan. But whenever we did that, I felt this gratitude to where I'm standing and then realizing that this is where I chose to stay. This is where I belong. Do you still like mac and cheese? Occasionally I do, occasionally I have those cravings.